Chan 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 We don't mean to brag, but we have to. We are, without a doubt, the best radio station in Muchinga Province. We give you the best radio programming, the best radio DJs, the best news, and the best music. A station that has you in mind. Call us on 0764-899-899. Chete. 89.9 FM Radio for the people Is the microphone Okay, it's holding Flaccid? No, 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 far from flaccid, man Far from flaccid uh, Welcome to That's the Podcast My name is K Plus Seated with this other guy that, Apparently that's how people In some uh, Certain sectors Call me that other guy The other guy The other guy Is it, is it because of where I introduce you? I have no idea. But I was introduced as Elson. Or maybe I'm just an asshole. I and have no could idea. just put your microphone straight by your mouth, please. Oh yeah? Like that? I, I know you don't like things straight. Uh-huh. <laughs> In my mouth? <laughs> that guy right there like that. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, welcome to that Z Podcast. My name is K Plus with Elson. And this is one of those episodes where it's just the two of us. Sounds a little poetic, almost romantic, but nah, far from it. So that's the podcast, and of course, you know, every week we know, we know you're you're always geared to hear from you know people that you see on social media, hear on radio, see on TV, the movers, the shakers, the trendsetters, and and all. But today it's just us dissecting the, the past few episodes we've done because we're coming to the end of the season. We've done our 13 episodes and the last one, of course, being uh, Clear Ice Queen. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then we talk about the past 13 episodes plus things that we've been going through in the past few weeks. And speaking of something I've been going through, I shared with you the, the, the cell phone issue the other day. What cell phone issue? Uh, where guys almost attacked me. Well, they did. Oh, right. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Dude, that's actually, you're actually the third person. Dude. Who that happened to? But the other two, did they lose their cell phones or what? No, no, they screamed their lungs out. Did right. you scream? I did not scream. Here's what happened. Um, <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> I, I didn't scream. I didn't scream. And I'll tell you why. So what happened is I'm taking a walk down my street in Ibex Hill and I'm on my phone. I, I like listening to podcasts or... That's you, not what you were doing. I was talking to you. We were talking, yeah, but yeah, I, think before that, I think before that I was listening to podcasts. Then you called. Yes, you called. Then we were speaking and right after I just cut the line, Toyota Corolla comes cruising, stops right next to me. Right. And usually when you experience such or when you see such happening, the first thought that comes to your mind is it's probably somebody you know or somebody who knows you and right. they're trying to pull a silly prank on you. Yeah. And I was very casual about it. So this car comes cruising and stops right next to me. And I'm in the walkway by the pavement of uh, First Street and Ibex Hill. And a guy comes out like half of his body comes out of the car and grabs my phone. So we start playing tug of war with my phone. I'm trying to get a clear picture of his face. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. is it somebody I know before I punch this guy or is it somebody really trying to steal my phone? And I look at the face, it's nobody I know. So at this point, I realize what's going on. This guy is trying to steal my that phone. I'm, that I'm getting mugged here. I'm getting mugged here. Right. So I tug even more and he screams to his friend, some unprintable, some things I can't mention here. You say just, oh shit, man. Okay, he said, oh shit. Yeah. Tires screech and they cruise off. Did they take you know your phone? I mean? They did not take my phone. I, but, I but tugged harder than he did. So, oh, uh, but but let's be honest though. As yeah. part of the reason why you wanted to hold on to your phone so much, as much of a shitty phone as you have, uh-huh. were all the nudes in your phone? Uh no, 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 no. Okay. no. But then uh, I've been sharing this story with a few other people uh, on the streets, and they're telling me the reason why they're stealing these phones. Mm. I thought, you know what? If he stole my phone, I was going to use my IMEI number to track the phone and whatever. It's not the phone they want. Well, it's, the it's your SIM card. Why, why not even the phone parts. They'll steal your phone, grab it from you. And I'm told it's been happening a lot in Ibex Hill, Salama Park, Avondale. Martin, I'm sure you've experienced this as well. Have Wait, you? Like, do, have you heard these stories? Why do they want your SIM card? So they steal the phone, throw away the SIM, uh, the, 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 phone. the phone, and then the SIM card, they will look at... Um, you know, uh, people like mom, bro, sis, wife, 
people who, if they texted saying they were having an emergency and you needed cash, people can send you money quickly. You know what I mean? Like, imagine a situation where they I grab your you phone, yeah, they you send mean. a message to your sister saying, uh, hey sis, emergency, I'm stranded here, I quickly need a 1,000 kwacha. But then that's bullshit because how are you going to get the money? How are they going to get the money? That's number one. Because if they send it to your mobile, to, yeah. to, your, to your wallet, yeah. they still need your PIN number to access the money. I don't know. Maybe they'll ask for e-wallet e maybe or something. And they'll, they'll probably try, try, and, try and chance someone who can send e-wallet because the e-wallet comes with a PIN. You know right, what I mean? Yeah. Right. Yeah. And it was very dumb of them to try and steal your phone because who the hell is going to loan you money? <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? But that's been happening yeah. a lot, though. You are the third person that I've heard that that's happened to. Um, is crime going up or is it just being well documented now? Crime is going up. There's very little documentation, I think, happening uh, when it comes to exposing these happenings. One such incident, I'm told, happened at... Uh, what's the mall where this new pub is? Um, Leopards Hill Road. What's that? What's that? Cut, yeah, but what's, what's the mall? Uh, Leopards Hill. That's Leopard's Hill Mall. Leopard's Hill Mall, maybe? I don't know. It can't be Bowl anymore, is it? <laughs> Why can't it be Bowling Mall? What are you saying about Bowling? <laughs> yeah, I get my, I get, on the spot now, yeah? I, I get my call from Bowling. Watch yeah. your mouth. <laughs> I know goose from there. <laughs> no, nah, it's, it's Leopard's Hill Mall. So the other story I heard was um, on Saturday, uh -huh. um, this group of friends are exiting the... Uh, the pub there, there's a, there's a new famous pub, I'm told. And as they're walking out, this guy tells me his girlfriend hands him her handbag. And I think she went to the bathroom or something. And as he's walking towards his car, this guy comes running from the back, grabs the handbag. Now this is a guy who's in a drunken stupor, like you're sloshed, you can't start running after somebody, you're drunk, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. The guy grabs a handbag and runs towards Bowling and disappears just like that. They try calling the phone later on, phone off. Next thing they know, following morning, not till I was on Monday morning, Monday morning, this chick, the girlfriend, goes to link up with her sister. Okay? Mm -hmm. She links up with her sister and the sister's like, so are you okay now? Then the girl is like, what, what do you mean? What are you talking about? Yeah. Yeah, you were talking about you being stranded uh, Friday night, you had issues, landlord, whatever. Yeah, and I sent the money. Have you sorted out the issue now? You sent money to what? Which the number? How, how much money did, did uh, this is? Send? Well, sh uh, the guy says luckily it was only like a one five. Apparently, the message said landlord is going to evict me. My rent is short by one thousand five hundred kwacha. And the sister, loving her younger sister, sends the money in a hurry. So these guys, it's sent an e wallet by the way. It was an e wallet, and they went withdrew and psh, threw away the same card after that. Again, yeah. I, I, most of co I, I, I don't know because most of the contacts. Yeah, I don't. Know, I guess it depends on the phone that you use. I never, I never store any, any, any contacts on the SIM. Most of them are either on my phone or on the cloud. On the cloud, yeah. Or the clever way, I think the other way of uh, doing it because when he steals your SIM, he doesn't have a call register with it, right? So. I think we should be careful in the way we save numbers on the phone. Saving things like hubby, wifey, uh, sis, bro, gives it away a little too much. It sounds like you just want to cheat. Yeah, it sounds like you just want to <laughs> fucking cheat. <laughs> Only else can think that way. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> otherwise, by the name. Uh, no, but I mean, look, look at it this way. She will kill you think faster. She will kill you faster than the thief. <laughs> I'm telling you this now. Resave your wife from wifey to her, to name. her name. Nigga, <laughs> shit. We're gonna be coming into your house, taking all the furniture out <laughs> with drums. What's that drum? <laughs> it's gonna be a funeral at your yeah, house. I mean, let's be honest. The only time we ever call each other by the name is on arguing, right? Bruh. Hassan! Yeah, yeah, that that very you, moment, that, you're no longer a baby. Let me let me tell you something. Yeah. The minute that she calls me Elson, I am gonna get nervous <laughs> whenever she begins to boil <laughs> porridge. Because I don't know if I'm gonna or eat that water. porridge or if it's gonna be poured or on me. Water. Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, no, but I'm just like, let's, let's be real. Um, yeah. That gives away a little too much. Any person who picks up your SIM card, look, those are the keywords they're looking for, key right. names they're looking for. Right. So I saved my mom's, uh, you know, contact with her name. I now need to ask my wife for permission to change her name in my context list. But then I guess so she's not going to believe you. She's going to think you've gonna, got... Who else is touching my phone to see that I've not saved my wife with that name? Your side chick? Why would she be touching my phone if I had one? Fam, you know how possessive these side chicks are? <laughs> and have you ever noticed how, this is something about side chicks that I've noticed. Yeah. Have you ever noticed if you're married and you've got a side chick? Yeah. 
your side chick is going to be okay with you having just your wife. wife? The minute you have the second side chick, <laughs> you have got so, oh man, she's going to snitch on you to your wife that your husband is sitting on us. Yeah, about that. Oh yeah, yeah. We're, we're still on the cell phone story. It got me thinking the other day when this happened to me. I'm so jealous of how in other countries a guy can steal a phone. Let's give an example of a place like the UK. A guy can steal not a phone. Not Australia? Nah. <laughs> okay, I'm not UK. bringing that up today. It's okay. Let's talk about the UK. My and I bring brother. up the UK because London is the city with the most cameras in the world, right? Really? Yes. More? No, London. London. Every corner. Every, what's, what's the capital of Japan? Tokyo. Tokyo yeah. More than Tokyo? I need, I need to check. Maybe things have changed. I, I, Last I, I checked. I, I, I call bullshit. Fact checker. Yeah, call bullshit. But okay, let's just say, okay, let's, let's, let's take Tokyo then. Okay let's, okay, let's say Tokyo. If we say Tokyo has the most. If somebody steals my phone, within minutes, that guy's getting caught. Or alternatively, let's talk about a country like America. If that happens and I dial 911, the cops will be in that neighborhood. Quick. Speaking of 911. Speaking of 911. Okay. Okay, I, 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 no, no. I was thinking about this the other day. Like if this was in America, I would have died nine one nine one one, right? And I thought about Zambia and our emergency numbers. So apparently, yeah, yeah. city with the most cameras. There's, um, there's a Chinese city called Tai Tai, not Taiwan. It's, it kind of, you, you kind of pronounce it as Taiwan. Yeah. Um, but you spell it as T I N U A N. Taiwan. Yeah, Kanye. it has got about no, doesn't say how many. But 300 miles of, of it is covered with um, a whole bunch of cameras. Damn. So no, it's not London. So it's not London anymore. Yeah. So yeah, we're okay, saying maybe, of maybe, I'm, maybe I'm speaking of uh, from the time I last checked, maybe three, four years Listen, ago. Listen, man, just stick to Australia, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Tokyo or Taiwan now? <laughs> what was I saying? The 911 in America. The emergency yeah. numbers in Zambia. Have you guys ever tried dialing the emergency number in Zambia? 991. I am looking for the police spokesperson to explain something. What's going on? On Tuesday, I tried dialing this number. And I just thought, after, after this attack, mm -hmm. I thought, if we were ever in an emergency, what number do we dial in this country? I didn't even know it was 991. It's 991. You didn't even know? No, I didn't. So if thieves were breaking into your house, what number are you, get, what number are you dialing? You're just screaming for your neighbors, aren't you? I don't you? know. Your, yours, maybe? <laughs> I've, <laughs> dude, I've my place like 20 minutes away from yours. But I'll still be there quicker than the police, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> So the emergency number for Zambia is 991. And on Tuesday, I dial it. And what does it say? What? The system is down. Please try tomorrow. What? Can we try it? You should have tried 112. That's police as well. I didn't know about that. So wait, no, let's say 991 says. On Tuesday, it was saying, please try tomorrow. Let's listen to this now. Sorry, the operators are all busy now. <laughs> Please what? wait for a while. Sorry. Please wait the for a while. Please wait for a while. Sorry. Please wait the for a while. Please wait for a while. In your bed, imagine somebody's breaking into your house and you have to wait for a while. So what do you tell the thieves? Just wait well, for just a while. Just wait, 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 <laughs> chill. Hold up. <laughs> Please wait for a while. The police are not picking up. <laughs> Let's try one one two, yeah. You sure that's police as well? That's but why aren't these numbers more public? One thing like on police cars and stuff like that, man. Don't don't bother with them with that. That's not their job. Oh, <laughs> did they go through? <laughs> Welcome to Zambia. What happened? <laughs> Listen to this. You're an emerg You have an emergency. It's giving me a busy tone. Do, 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 do. That's what it's doing. So basically, we've got no emergency numbers. If I was in trouble, thieves are breaking into your home. No one's coming to save you. No one's coming to save you. Pray. Or even if you just wanted to call the police. Just to say hi. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. No one's coming to say hi. No, no one's coming. No one's answering your call. No one's saying hi to you. Even one one two doesn't go through. We need to have the police spokesperson on a small segment on that Z podcast to answer mm -hmm. to us. What number do we call the in an emergency? Yeah, I don't like Popo though. Yeah, maybe for this. Yeah, but you're gonna have an emergency one, one day, and you're gonna have to call. Maybe. Sorry. <laughs> you're gonna have to call the police one day. Who are you gonna call? I, I, I hope not. <laughs> I, I hope not. No, but I, I have people though on my speed dial. Sadly, yeah, yeah, you which is not supposed to be the case. It's not how, that's not how it's yeah. supposed to be. I really hope the police see this and they respond to us and help us out with uh, 
Well, Kelly. someone who's dating a police or whose father's a police will definitely see this. I'll tell you that now. For That'll free. be good. That'll be good. We need the police spokesperson or better, the Ministry of Home Affairs mm -hmm. needs to handle this because we need emergency numbers. And these emergency numbers need to be on every police car in the country. Don't bother me with that. That's not their job. Okay. Well, it is their job to protect and serve. Oh, and I please. need to be able to reach them to protect oh, and serve please. me. It's their job to catch you when you're speeding. That's what their job is. I'll tell you that now. <laughs> This whole bullshit of it, hey, thieves and shit. Yeah. Ah, please. Don't anyway, that, that's yeah. what I went through in the past week. What's your yeah. story, man? What, what have you been up to? Man, it's, you know, you know, crazy, crazy thing is, yeah. that's been a, it's been a pretty interesting week. Um, Had daddy duties. My son lost daddy two duties. Offices. Yeah, bro. I don't know why I heard dirty duties. Like, Jesus. And, you, and I'm supposed to be the dirty one on this guy. That's why podcast. I heard dirty. I mean, I'm sure he heard the same. Ati? It's your, it's my influence no, on him. Not real influence, reputation. Oh, reputation my yeah. son lost two of his teeth your son lost two at the same time and he says yeah so apparently his his teeth were um, his teeth had already been loose and okay. i'm speaking to him and he's speaking funny because i don't live with him right yeah i'm speaking to him and he's speaking funny <laughs> well, and, so eventually, oh, I, <laughs> <laughs> and so eventually and so eventually daddy i want some sausage his mom listen to this his mom eventually sends me this yeah. I've Wait. What's that? I feel put, put on the mic. Two. You feel what? Uh, the, the bottom of the phone, dude. No, it comes out here. But it's anyway, loud at the bottom of the phone. All right, all right, yeah. all right. I feel done, teeth two. Two, two teeth came out. Two teeth. Two teeth. Out. <laughs> that is the truth. <laughs> then the nigga says that is the truth. Like he always has to justify himself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why you, you, you don't believe him whenever he tells his stuff? I have no idea why he feels he always has to justify That's himself. That's just the truth. Believe me, two teeth out. <laughs> Age, but that that, yeah. that that scares me though. I like why so? Well, how how old is your fr your first child? Uh, first one is five. Second is three. Yeah, because my son is five. Yeah, and that scares me because I I never want him to be anything remotely to what I was growing up. Cause I was an I was like a proper proper ass. Yeah, but he's not living with you, so he's not no, your at times. So at times, yeah, oh, okay. at times. So you know, imagine like teaching, teaching a whole human something you're still learning. Does that give you anxiety? Or if, if, like I hope are, I'm not gonna feeling, fuck this kid up. Are you feeling you're too young to be a father? No, I'm not too. I mean, I'm a fucking mid thirties, bro. Yeah. Not that I'm too young, but I don't know half the things that I need to. What is the word? Disprints? Whatever. Yeah. To a whole human. Hmm. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. And the, oh man, like you're still learning I'm and still you have to learning. teach somebody they, something that you're still, still learning. learning. You're still in college and you have to lecture someone. There you go. Hmm. Yeah, but we'll never stop learning. So you teach him what you know while you're learning. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't be afraid, Elson. And at some point, yeah. I, I, I got worried because he was very aggressive. So he was beating up at the kids. And like you, I'll, you used to be the same? No, no, Jack. No. I was very quiet and chilled. Mm -hmm. Like I'll, ta I'll take him to. Oh, that's another thing. If you've if you've got a child, if you yeah. take your child to a to a play center, that's like yeah. a chick magnet. But that's not why I <laughs> took him there. Like he could have a million other toys to play with. He wants the one that, that the is already is occupied. With. And you'd go and you'd smack a kid, and when yeah. the kid runs off crying, then he takes the shit. <laughs> and that that worried me for a while. He's he's sort of grown out of it. Wow. I, but, I, but I have a feeling uh, he's going to be as naughty as you were, probably worse. I hope because not. Because karma is a way of working around things. You know what I mean? So and look, of, look out for that. And one of the biggest mindfuck is like when, when you watch him doing stuff that he's not supposed to, and you reprimand him. Yeah. And you pause because then you see a little bit of yourself. <laughs> that way, hold on. I used to do exactly <laughs> the same thing too. The apple didn't fall too far from the tree, innit? Jesus. I went to I went to to Eden House and I met Mumpy. Ah, I, I was night. about to say we've been having a, a good streak of, you know, like before we had Cleo and uh, Maria, people were complaining about you don't bring enough females. Yeah. And yeah. then we're bringing, and it's impressive how the females we've brought on, mm -hmm. the numbers, the views. Bruh, Cleo's views are just, Cleo, they're just out of here. Maria, the views have been, Oh, Amazing Maria. man, and we've been thinking of bringing Mumpy as well. You met Mumpy. What's the story now? So, so I go there and I meet Mumpy, and yeah. I'm like, but 
why are you curving us? K plus oh, yeah, has been yeah, trying yeah. to call you. I've been calling him, trying to call man before like the past three weeks. And every right. time I, she answered once and right. told me, let me save your number. Uh-huh. And after that, every time I call her, she never picks up. Right. So I asked her the same thing too. Never picks up. Like, why Is you, it because I'm black? Like, why are you curving us? So, so we, we sit. Very yeah. down to earth chick. No, oh, sweet. Yeah, very down to earth chick. I like her. Uh, and she had the thickest skin? lens. Oh, no. lens. Oh, okay. Um, uh, what? I said skin. <laughs> no. But her glasses had the yeah. thickest lens that I've ever seen. And I've got a theory on girls that wear glasses with such thick lens. Man, people wear specs. Yeah, she does. That thick. Like Coca-Cola bottle thick. Fam. Yeah. In my, in my opinion, no, in my experience, yeah. those have been the horniest girls I've ever met. Not to say she is. She has been a very... Like the, the dinner we had and our chat, she was a very shy. No, no, she's very cool. confident. Yeah, we had a, we had an amazing conversation, and she said that the only reason why she has not come onto the podcast, yeah, is because she's nervous. The and I'm like, and I'm like Queen what, what Diva. Did, what did you hear about us? Wow, man, have you watched the clear episode? Did you see how nice we were to her? So psh, nothing to be scared Better about. Yet, it. have you seen the Maria episode? Yeah, I. I think the Maria episode would make her a bit nervous. Why would it make her A nervous? lot of people have spoken about how you and her connected and uh, you were being a little flirtatious and- I flirt with maybe, everybody maybe apart she from liked men. it. Yeah? Yeah. So Mampi should be scared. No, she shouldn't be. But I, is, I is, Ma- is Mampi thing. dating? Maybe that's what scares her. Is she dating? Would, would any of you guys know if Mampi is dating? Yeah, Mampi keeps her cards very close. But which is good, though. Yeah. Which you is don't good. know if she's dating or who's in her life, what's happening in her life. With who? With Mampi? What I like, though, uh, is her TikTok post. She's such a comedian on TikTok. Oh, yeah? Yeah, she's got this She's got this uh, big head thing. Is that, is that like a filter or something? Where she answers questions from some random guy in the background. Why did you eat my food? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what's that thing, eh? <laughs> A TikTok challenge, eh? No, she's see it. It's so funny. And she does it. She responds like a little she girl. She seems to be doing pretty well. She's pushing. She's pushing a Merc. Oh, she moved on from the. That was a. That was a Land Rover Discovery. Last I checked, eh? Don with Diva on the number plate or something. Oh yeah. Is it Queen B or Queen Diva or something? Oh, I've seen that. I've yeah. Seen that. She seems to be doing pretty ah, good. She's living well. She's got her own house. She's got her own house. Except in Chalala, right? Chalala. Yeah. That's where she lives. How would you know where she lives? Hey, ask no questions here, no <laughs> lies. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, yeah. <laughs> we shall leave it at that. The Maria episode. But though, we shall look at you with a pretty... raised eyebrow. We shall leave. It. I know, right? <laughs> the Maria episode to me yeah. was actually pretty dope. I liked it. I liked how she opened up. I was in oblivion. That, that episode was... It's not about me. You were, you were chopped liver. I was very chopped liver on that episode. You I, were part of was, the furniture. Anytime I wanted to ask a question, Elson had a better one to ask her. And I think she was more... Well, better in your opinion, maybe. Were you feeling intimidated by a powerful, sexy woman in the room? No, not at all. I, I love them powerful and sexy, by the way. Oh, um, I think you guys clicked you a lot on the comment, especially from the from the time you spoke about the goats. Uh-huh. The chemistry there just like, it's like you guys found common ground and, why and was you picked it a, from there. Why was it such a surprise that I know about boar goats? Yeah, how do you know about boar goats, by the way? I know a lot. About goats? Yeah. I was shocked and I was like, uh, my I mouth know. dried up from yeah, that point on. That's, yeah, that's that's uh, that's amazing business as well. Cross goats. of goats. Yeah, are you are you doing it though? No, I'm not. My uncle is. Mm, okay. Yeah, and he's making quite a bit of bank from that. So, Mumpy, we are nice guys, and uh, please put this put this in the promo. <laughs> Let's have Mumpy. Mumpy, we want you. If we're going to follow you to your house and sleep at your gate until you say yes, ooh, we let, shall ooh, come. So let me tell you this story as well. Yeah. I won't mention names. Okay. I mentioned it to you in passing. I don't think everybody else knows it. So there's a girl that I know. Ooh. Pretty relatively well-known actress. Yep. So she goes on a set of a reality show that is being shot. Dum, dum. And the plot she th- says... The plot thickens. Yeah. So she yeah. says to the guy who's in the middle of the reality show... You need to go to the Z podcast. Um, start selling our podcast, right? Mm. And the guy says, oh, yeah, I would, except I don't like that Elson dude. <laughs> okay. That chap is stupid. He's so full of himself. He's so obnoxious. He, he said all kinds of things about me. 
And when he said this, yeah, the rest of the crew, the camera people, the lighting people, everybody agreed. And they went on on a tangent. They went off on a tangent for like half an hour, tearing a new asshole into my back. Put you on a bright stand. Hey, yeah. bruh, I got roasted. And so now she's quiet. She ain't saying nothing. Mm-hmm. Fast forward about two weeks after that. Yeah. She says to me, can you drop me off set? I said, yeah, sure. Yeah. So I drive her to the same set where these Judases were talking about me. <laughs> Did these guys not act like groupies? <laughs> oh, bruh, we <laughs> like the podcast. They even yeah. went on to tell me the episodes that they've seen. And yet they don't and like I'm you. Just, I'm just standing there like you Oh, crap, you, ha- you, had, you had this information as I, you were meeting. I'd already been told. Damn. You two-faced people. <laughs> But I, your know back, when he, I know when he watches this, he's going to know who I'm talking about. And he's still going to come <laughs> on the podcast. <laughs> oh, crap, man. The, oh. life, we, the life we live. Oh, Our man. lives are entertainment. Yeah, that's that's been pretty crazy. You had a you had a car crash, didn't you? Um, Yeah, we'll, we'll come come to come that, to that at the end of the... Were you doing something illegal? No, I wasn't. Just why, driving, do you look, just, why do you look nervous now? Just driving home and uh, on a curve, some guy was parked wrongly. So as I was trying to dodge him, I... Hit into a tree. Oh shit! Yeah, you good though? I'm good. Everything still works. Uh, the car is not okay, so well, trying to get that fixed with the insurance company. That that, that's a, a that's a beauty of having comprehensive insurance. So oh, look at you, insurance. college dropout. Yeah, yeah, I know. With right? Comprehensive insurance <laughs> and shit. <laughs> so the insurance company is uh, having a look at that and clearing that. Another thing I like to talk about though. This is something that we've overlooked. How? When did we get independence? 1964. How many years back is that? 50 what? 58 years. Yeah. You're it's pretty good with math. I'll tell you that, by the way. You're very good with math. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead, but what's your point? So 50 years, 58 years of independence, and there's something that we've not corrected at all. I think I know what that is. A repetition in every, almost every government institution. Mm-hmm. And this is something we've not really thought of, eh? But when you really think about it, I think we're the only country in the world, and I've done my research in this, we are the only country in the world. In the world. The whole world. And this is how embarrassing it is. And I'm making an appeal to the president, His Excellency, Haka Inde Ichilema, please. Please be nice. While we are in the new dawn government, we need a change of this one thing. Free marijuana? No. You know how... (laughs) In other countries, we don't have this repetition. I'll give an example. In Zimbabwe, there's Zimbabwe Broadcasting Corporation, ZBC. Mm-hmm. In South Africa, we've got what? South African Broadcasting Corporation, SABC. In Botswana, is what? BTV. Mm-hmm. Welcome to my country, the motherland, Zambia. What do we have? Zambia National Broadcasting Corporation. Even they don't get the repetition. They're still yeah, looking at me with yeah, the, yeah. the repetition. Let me explain something here. We've got ZNBC, Zambia National Broadcasting Corporation. We've got Zambia National Building Society. We've got Zambia National Service. If you've already mentioned Zambia, the country, why are you again saying national? Nation. Yeah. You know what I mean? And this is something we've, we get laughed at by, look at America. Why isn't it American National Aeronautics? I get what you mean. NASA. I get what you mean. It's because the repetition, right? I get, I get what you mean. Maybe I'm wrong. I would like to call a scholar, if you allow. Okay. I know an English scholar who happens to be a lawyer and a DJ. And uh, I, I did tell him for the purpose of this episode, in case I'm wrong, but I just feel it is a major repetition, which let's just call him to confirm. Go ahead. Yeah. To confirm the repetition, Zambia National Service. Why can't it just be National Service? Wait, the subscriber called. No. His line is busy. It's a Friday, he's a DJ. Yeah, I know, right? No, but it's not today. Zabige! Hey, hello? Zabige! How's it? You're proper? I'm good, I'm good, I'm alright. You? Uh, I'm very, very well. And you, you're on that Z podcast, at least I warned you. I, I've noticed you've, you've answered uh, not in the way you usually answer when I call you. Oh my goodness, imagine what I would have said. <laughs> <laughs> I know. For, for, for those wondering who I'm talking to, I'm actually talking to Guest Groove, lawyer, DJ, entrepreneur who's coming on the show a little later. Zabigi! Yeah. I have a question. You're the only English scholar I know, and I know you did your, you went to grammar school in the UK, so your English is very on point. I've got an issue. 
I've got an issue with the way we have this repetition of Zambia National in almost every government, or should I say parastatal. Zambia National Service, Zambia National Broadcasting Corporation. Is this correct? Is it a, is it a good, is it, is it a correct thing to say? No, it's not. Are we in order? Sorry? We're not in order. We're not in order. Please break it down like a fraction. What, what, what's the issue here? <laughs> I mean, it, it, we all know it, if it's champion or not it's champion. So at the end of the day, if, if it belongs to the nation, it's national. There's no need to state what nation it is. That's it. It's that simple. There are no two ways about it. So I can... You know what we've got? So I can't, I don't you call it tautology. <laughs> you know what it's called? At what? I think you know, the expression that you used to use when, when people sort of repeat. It's the same way people say ATM machine. The, the M in machine is ready machine. Yes. Oh, can I have your PIN number? So it's tautology. <laughs> so big, th- thanks, for, thanks for clarifying that. I just wanted to be sure that I'm uh, doing the correct thing here and, uh, and I'm, I'm in the right. Yeah, you're doing the right thing. Cheers. All right, cheers, Chief. Thanks. Thanks, man. Have a good one. Cheers. So I am correct. Imagine how the world looks at us now I with know, this repetition. Right? And we've kept it going for 58 years, man. It'll be pretty interesting if they're called uh, Zambia Police, ZP Police. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? I was about to say they were correct to Zambia National. Zambia National Police. <laughs> <laughs> no, but really, I can only imagine what, how the international community looks at us with this repetition. And we've kept it going for 58 years. And we're the only country in the world that does this. Yeah. I don't know if they've actually really looked no, at it. Nobody's thought about it. Yeah. That's why I'm making an appeal to the president. Like, while it's in state house, one, one more change wouldn't hurt. Go on a what? Go on a rampage and change provinces. I mean, as a president, he can make it happen like that. So that change is welcome. Correct things after 58 yeah. years. Mm-hmm. Leave a legacy. The, the president who corrected oh, yeah. our grammar, which mm-hmm. we ignored for 58 years. We, we, I'm, st- I'm still holding thumbs that we're going to get him on the podcast. I hope after this he will come to correct that and do other things on the podcast. So I told as well. you that apparently our um, our contact with the president said there's only one problem with him coming on the podcast. He liked it, everything else. Is it you cursing? It is me cursing. Guys, who is for the idea that we have a swear jar for Elson? Raise your hand. Any t- <laughs> people are raising two hands each. <laughs> Wait, so who so who puts money in the swear jar? I do. every time you swear you put money in the jar. Just so you want me to be broke? Because already. If we say 100 kwacha, he's already owing us 200 kwacha from this episode alone. Really? This way? Like you a think? pirate. <laughs> like a pirate. No, I'll, try. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll try. I'll try and swear less. <laughs> it was a comment about some. There was not about. There was a girl that posted in one of I forgot which which episode who said she had left the podcast because I swear a lot. Uh I wish I could find that. You comment. remember that? Right? Yeah, it's there. You, you saw right. you saw that on uh, on YouTube, yeah. And it was a long comment, and I think I responded very, to it yeah. saying, "No, we're praying for Elson. He's swearing less nowadays." I need, I need you guys to keep me in your prayers. Praying but, and fasting. But why does that tomorrow. really offend people? I would like to know. Uh, here's what I, I know: you did a lot of your, you did a lot of time outside Africa, working in Belgium, where else? Germany, you, Netherlands, but yeah, yeah, and also South Africa. And these are countries where swearing is common, part of expression. It's part of expression. It's common. They actually, do that, but on national TV. They Do curse on national that? TV in yes, Germany yeah. and Belgium. Well, this is not Belgium or Germany. I know I hear Zambians that. Zambians are conservative people, listen, pretentious conservative in Christians public. in public. Yes. Do you know the amount of shit that happened? Where's the jar? <laughs> There's a big jar. I could. Okay, so so who's taking the money and how much are we putting in? Uh, this is money we'll be using for logistics. You said twenty bucks, right? No, no, we said hundred. In twenty bucks, who said twenty bucks? He said twenty bucks. Yo, I'm not serious. Twenty bucks, where? We said hundred. Ah, who put this in? Hundred kwacha per swear. He said twenty. Is he the one making the rules? I, I, I brought it up. It's a team, guys. Who wants Elson to be putting hundred kwacha? All those in favor of hundred kwacha say aye. All those in favor say aye. Say aye. So and the so, eyes have it. So, but but that's that's another thing that I've that I've realized, which is the, you use the word pretentious. I use that because which is which is accurate in this in this instance because people do a lot more than just swear. But the fact that you do it in public, they are like, oh no, but why are you doing this? 
yeah, like I said, we are conservative. We're not very liberal like, you know, people in the West. So if you come out in public and use F words, people take offense. ish That's why you put, I, I, I chopped off the ish and put pretentious before uh-huh, it. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's it's exactly what I said. I think that that word is key in this. In this ish. Yeah. Now, I'm not fighting for my swearing rights. I'll swear less. <laughs> Yeah, so we've got one fan back, one who left because of picture quality as well. Mm-hmm. She's back mm-hmm. because the picture quality has improved. And Congrats to Sally and team. This uh, this season has been a bit of a challenge. Don't, don't say and team. What's the other guy's name? Lamek. Lamek. I'm sorry, Lamek. My bad, brother. <laughs> and we've worked how many episodes together? <laughs> <laughs> how many? Eight, nine? <laughs> and you don't know the guy's name? Hey, sh- listen. Uh, he listen, holds the man. camera which faces you all the time? Eesh. Wow. My bad, brother. You are such My a caring bad. contractor. I, eesh, bruh. I... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, we'll leave it at that. Uh, anything else before we start? You oh, know? a lot. So, yeah. we have a... Speaking of reviews. Yeah. How do I say this? Let me put my my vape down or if there's any people that make vapes by the way i, I would love to be a poster child the, I, the ambassador man i enjoy it's, it's probably unhealthy but yeah i double it i think this is my vice yeah everybody has one everybody has one yeah yeah as you were <sighs> we've had interesting reviews okay We, we've had people with other podcasts, mm-hmm. and this the, and this I don't I don't get, right? The pie is big enough for yeah. a million podcasts in Zambia. Yeah, we've had other podcasters take an issue with the way we we conduct our um, our episodes. They Ooh. trash it. They yeah. give horrible reviews. Strange thing is not to us, yeah. to each other. Oh, okay. And okay. the interesting bit is, as smart as they are in their um, advice, yeah, none of their videos have got over two hundred views. Hmm. Okay. Do we take heed, Sally? Do we listen to this? I, I I really try to imagine and think, why does one podcast have to not exist in order for another one to do better? Why can't we both coexist? It's like you're trying to have the tallest building in town. Instead of just building your own tall building, you break all the others down so that yours can stand out. Do, do, do that hand gesture again. <laughs> so that yours can stand out. <laughs> 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 Lamek, I hope you got that. <laughs> Look, if you're going to have the tallest building in town, that's your building, and this is our building, mm-hmm. you don't come to break down ours so that you remain the just tallest in town. Just stack yours higher. Yeah. Just buy more bricks. Stack yours higher. Exactly. Stack that's yours pretty higher. Much pretty much it, yeah. So And, and I keep getting all the, the assume going to run out of guests to talk to. No. Zambia is very big. There's so many movers and shakers. I do not know why they think a guest has to be somebody famous or popular. I think because they're trying to aim in the same direction. Or they're trying to aim in the same direction. Right. I remember they when... Are supposed to be different ideas. Yeah. I remember somebody mentioned... Um, I think that was as, as we were winding down season one when we did the, the episode at Hilton Hotel. Mm-hmm. Somebody said, mm, you guys are going around of celebrities very soon. And I thought, no, it's not about celebrities. It's not about celebrities. Actually, as we wind down season two and we start season three, we've done 26 episodes now. We've not run out. Nope. Somebody actually said there are only five celebrities in Zambia. Maki Tu, Mampi, Sheffy, Slab D, Bobby, and that said, you guys will be done. We've gone up 26 episodes now and we're still going strong. And Why? Look out. Danger. Look out for great things coming up in season three. Oh, man. Oh. I, I, I'm going to give a spoiler. And speaking of, I yeah. going back to, to the same people that, I don't know, speak out. Of, oh, man, I'm not going to swear. But we've got, a, <laughs> we've got an upcoming trip to Livingston. That? Oh, yeah. We, we got an interesting call from the UK. From the, from UK. the UK. Guys. Yo. Bruh. We're traveling. We got Which a call. one is this one? We got a call from the UK a mm-hmm. few days ago. And this lady says, I like what you guys are doing for your country. And we have a major event happening in your tourist capital. And we'd love for you to come do a podcast from our event. They are paying for flights. Dude, we just finished talking on the phone. Boom. 
I told Elsa, no, there's a lady who's gonna call about yeah. some event. And he says, no, she's actually mailed us the air tickets already. Yeah. I said, oh, wow. So she's booked the flights out of her pocket? Out she's of her booked pocket? Us into Avani, Avani Hotel. Uh, meals paid, everything. Two nights, right? I think, well, she asked how long we want to be there, so. No. Is that also for the camera crew? No, no, no yeah, yeah, they're doing a bus. <laughs> <laughs> bus. Before you get excited. Before you get excited. <laughs> ah, you're doing a bus. So, geez, man. Um, clearly, our sangomas are doing the most. Yeah, and it, it doesn't end there. We've, we've we've had calls from a country I don't want to mention because Elson just burst into laughter. That's okay. Guess the country. Yeah. Guess the country. Uh, does it have kangaroos? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Is it at the bottom of the world? Of Down the world? under? Yeah. Yeah. No, there's a there's a big event happening there in July. So there's a discussion about us going to a podcast there. Yeah. So market you slap D your maps to be performing there, and we could be at that gig as well. Absolutely. So we keep our fingers crossed. I already have my visa, actually. Oh, you have your visa. Mm-hmm. I have to organize mine and uh, see where this leads. Yeah. But anyway, let's dissect the episodes that we've been having the past thirteen. Uh, weeks and uh, the first one we did in the season was Bobby East. Bobby, Bobby, Bobby. I'll tell you this. I was actually, uh, I was, I was very surprised with how chilled that guy is for his reputation. Yeah, he's very laid back. Yeah, I enjoyed that episode. It was quite long. It could be the Big it, D energy, huh? <laughs> Where did I find this guy from again? <laughs> blame Comba. Yeah, let's blame Comba. All right, so the Bobby East episode, you love the energy on that one. Oh, you were present. I think because of the topics that we discussed on that one, you were very present. Which is the music, right? I love music. You did not touch your phone. Mm-mm. Oh, which is another thing that people... Yeah. Yeah. We know Elson is present, is enjoying an episode when he's not touching his phone. <laughs> uh, the Christopher Katonga episode, you were late. Which was I after was. Bob? Yeah, you were so, late. So, so let me let me explain that. So yeah. two episodes I was late. Yeah, Christopher Katongo and J Rox. Yeah. So just like you, this is not our full time thing. Yeah, it's our side hustle. Yeah, it's our side hustle. When we are bored, I'm, I'm lying. Not when we are bored, <laughs> but we do have. I do have a main something that actually does pay the buy groceries and yeah. pays for my son's fees and a lot of the time and it's not i i really apologize it is not on purpose that i want to be late because i i respect people's time so that's that's the only reason why i was late for those two episodes was was because of meetings and work all right so after yeah. christopher katongo we had uh oscar chavula the one where people said wow we've learned so much in terms of business i learned so much from him as well i thoroughly enjoyed that episode and i don't know yeah. if is everything all right there Okay. Right. I don't know if I should be saying I'm I'm the Maverick, I'll say it anyway. We actually shot two episodes. Oh, oh crap! How could I forget that dude? We shot two episodes <laughs> of the Oscar Chavula episode. That's how much of a perfectionist he is. We recorded the first episode. He did not like it. Yeah. He called us back two days later. In fact, the day was supposed to no two days later called us back and he said i do not like certain things i said and we inc- we said to him dude you know you are able to edit this ish out right so just cut out what you don't like it's like nope i don't like it let's just redo the whole thing let's do the and whole thing and we redid the whole thing and then he chooses the first and one and then still. he watches and then it's like i like the energy in the first one and i'm but like, and let's not edit anything we didn't edit anything from that episode man we did not edit anything after making us record the second man. episode but i yeah. i was impressed as well yeah with oscar uh the business argument and this is what i've turned to realize about people that are successful is the way they think their work ethic yeah. you know this guy gets into office at seven i've had several meetings with him mm-hmm right him and i have got um other businesses that we we're looking at together Firstly, this guy gets into the office at seven and there's nobody else, including the God, who's there at that time. Wow. On one or two rare occasions where he's not been able to make the meeting, he had, and this is a, this is a dollar millionaire. Yes. He's had the courtesy to text me to say, hey, dude, listen, I'm running late. Are you able to wait for X amount of time or can we push it till tomorrow? Hmm. Courtesy. These peasants who do not have two <laughs> coins to rub together yeah. will make you wait for four hours. For nothing. Oh, shit. Somebody made, made us wait for four hours, actually. Oh, crap. Yeah. We're coming to that one. Uh, but that's not who I meant when I said 
<laughs> these peasants. <laughs> uh, after that, we had uh, Kalenga Kamwendo, the pilot. Oh, that was funny. Ah, that was our first episode with you guys. So we've done how many? Uh, eight episodes with you guys. Eight, nine, ten episodes with you guys. Yeah. And ten. if you can see yeah. the improvement. Yeah. The, the first couple of ones. We were almost getting depressed with you guys. They were like. You. We, we look so team. pale. We yeah. look like extras in The Walking Dead. <laughs> <laughs> With extra powder on our faces. Bruh. Yeah. But that was funny. Um, he's, a, he's a very impressive young man. Him and I still chat to these days. So there's a couple of people who I still talk to. Yeah. Um, Oscar, I still talk to. Yeah. Slap, I still talk to. Kalenga, I still talk to. The other one I won't say because she's dating. <laughs> Now every lady's come on our show. Lulu, the boyfriends will start looking at the. F- Lulu, we still yeah. talk. She's my sister. Yeah, but that's season one. Yeah, so no, I'm, I'm just saying. saying, I'm just saying any, any any uh, girl who's come onto our uh, po- podcast in the past 13 episodes, every one of them, their boyfriends are looking at them suspiciously after this. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Could it be her? Like, hmm. <laughs> open your goddamn phone. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Elson, 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 no, Farai, Farai, for, no, Changamire, no. Then who did we have after uh, that? After Kalenga, we had Pilato. Pilato? Oh, that one. This dude, yeah. five minutes into the interview, <laughs> pushes the mic away, is like, I'm, nah, I'm walking away. I'm walking away. I'm walking away. This guy is, yeah, there's, there's certain stuff that he doesn't want to talk about. Yeah. You bring that up and the guy's like, nah, I'm done. Uh, there's certain things, yes, he didn't want to talk about. So we respected that. Of course. And uh, yeah, he threatened to walk off and we told him we'll not talk about it anymore. And he came back and we continued the episode. It was a good episode. I love that It was that a great episode. He's a very, he's a very smart guy. Yeah. He thinks different. Like Steve Jobs. And then after Pilato, we had Liapambewe. And the thing about Yapambewe, that mm. episode shot up like crazy, man. You said it's still number one where? On which platform? On Apple and Google, it's the most listened to episode we've ever had. The Liapambewe episode. Yeah. That episode was number one in Zimbabwe. Mm-hmm. Two days after we uploaded it onto Anchor, uh, Apple Podcast, Google mm. Podcast. It was number one in Tha- Thailand, Taiwan? Really? I'll, I'll need, yeah, I need to go back to my Gmail. It shows you which countries are number one in with every Speaking episode. Speaking of number one, yeah. <laughs> since December, was it? Yeah. Every other week, in with the exception to maybe three weeks, we've yeah. been number one on Apple Podcast. Yeah. Um, in Zambia, and that's freaking amazing. So Thanks thank a you. lot to everybody supporting us, listening in, watching in. Really appreciate that, man. Really appreciate that. So, Liapambewe, wish that that check on the numbers. Even on TikTok. Yeah. Of all the posts we've had, that's the most. That's the most. The most viewed on TikTok is the Liapambewe episode. Nice. Yeah. And nice. It's just a promo. After that, we had J Rocks. That was a bit tense. There was a bit of tension between you and J Rocks. Yes. Yeah. So, J Rocks, KB, Iris, I sort of lumped them into one <laughs> in the sense that, in my yeah. opinion, fame got to their head. I, I seriously do not know that J-Rox was married. And I asked him. Yeah. Like, genuinely, I wasn't I wasn't dicking no. around. No. You know what? In his defense, he's probably thinking everybody knows about his life. No, and, and that's yeah. ignorant. That's that's, that's 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 ignorant because not everybody knows about you. Yeah, that's my point. Like, in, I'm speaking from his position. He, right. He, in his opinion. Right. He probably feels everybody at this point in his life should know everything about him because he posts his wife, she posts him all the time. So he feels if somebody's coming to interview me, they must know everything about me. But I get where you're coming from. You're asking so for the what, demographic that doesn't know so, about so J-Rocks. So why interview you if we can't ask you questions about you? Because you're an open book at that point, right? Well, pretty much, yeah. So the only other way, that, the only other reason why we're interviewing you is to know what we don't. Yeah. And I'm speaking for the 0.00005% that, know, that knows nothing. Yep. We've had, I've had people hit me up from, shout out to Eric. Uh, he is, man, I I'm so proud of this. A lot, yeah. yeah. He is the communications manager at Wikipedia in Washington. He's Kenyan. Wow. And he watches every single episode. Imagine wow. that. Wikipedia. He should just up an account on Wikipedia, man. Like, he has to. Oh, yeah, absolutely, yeah, man. Be good. Um, so, yeah, so J Rocks was, yeah. Um, it was pretty tense. It was pretty tense. Yeah. But I never really, I never really get phased by 
by that. Like yeah, that. You, yeah, you soldiered on regardless. So yeah. Uh, then we had Shala Tukuta. How did you feel about that one? He's a clown. Mm-hmm. And I like that because I'm a clown as well. And then he spoke about his teeth and that's what people wanted to see. Because that's, that's, oh. that's, what, that's, what, that's what Sally put in the promo. Right. And, and that's yeah. the other thing as well is he posted that clip on his page, right? <laughs> and I had, I had people attacking me. Yeah. Oh, that is rude. Uh, you fix your head. <laughs> Before uh, you talk about anybody fixing anything. You fix your height. <laughs> oh, they didn't say the height part, but I'm insecure yeah, yeah. about my height. <laughs> so in my mind, I was oh, like, that, that would have been a good... Is that why you wear thick sneakers, yeah? Explains I don't wear thick sneakers. I wear flip flops. Now nah, you wore thick sneakers earlier today, so just no, saying. no. Shut up. What thick sneakers do I wear? <laughs> yeah, just so teasing, man. Teasing. The, the, the yeah. Chella end. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll not mention this, but the Chella episode was pretty interesting. Yeah, pretty interesting. Yeah. And then we have this episode, which also shot up, especially in Asia, for obvious reasons. I think the Asian community tagged each other and their relatives back Rashmi home. Rashmi, Rashmi Sharma. Sharma. When I opened. Um, Google Analytics mm-hmm. that week mm-hmm. would number one on Apple Podcast in Taiwan, Thailand that week. Because of Rashmi. Yes. Which is actually in America right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. I saw that on Twitter, yeah. So a lot of countries in Asia, we were number one on Apple Podcast in those countries. And in Zimbabwe, we shot from number 279 to number one that week. In South Africa, we reached number two with Rashmi Sharma. I sent that to her. She was shocked. She was shocked that episode uh, yeah. shot number one. Yeah, Eesh. that is. That episode went, man. She's she's a very bright, smart, yeah. strong woman. Yeah. I can understand why certain weak men would be intimidated by somebody who's that assertive, who knows exactly what they want. Very astute. And she she very actually astute, she actually suggested yeah. we have her brother on the podcast as well. That'd be fun. Like we've said, in season three, we're not looking at... Uh, let me explain something to people who tell us, you're only bringing famous people. Look, we go to sponsors. Should I reveal why we, we're doing what we're doing? Ahead, All right, cool. So... When we go to sponsors, the first thing they ask is, what are your numbers looking like? Okay. Right. Now, if we go to sponsors with only 2,000 subscribers, that's a paltry 2,000 subscribers. That's nothing to them. It's a drop they in the will, ocean. They will say to us, you see that little opening in the wall? It's called a door. Walk, walk away. Go through it yeah. and shut it behind you. <laughs> yeah, so... When we go to you know sponsors, because we, we need this sponsor, we need to pay the camera crew, we need to pay the sound crew, uh, transport and things like that. You know what yeah, I mean? We need yeah. to feed the team as we're working. We need money. So when we go to sponsors, they're looking at the numbers. So with season one and season two, quite all right, yes, we're looking at the influencers, people with big numbers to help us grow our numbers. And we've grown so quickly in a space of what? Four or five months to 21,000? Yeah. Very few YouTube channels get to those numbers this fast. And we've managed it. We've- Why? Every week we're growing about by about two thousand, uh, by about yeah, about yeah, man. by about two thousand subscribers every week. We are over Shout six. Out to Shout out to Elsa. He pushed that as well. Yeah, He's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we've had over six hundred thousand hours of watching. You see what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So say what you will, the numbers say something different. Exactly. So in season three, um, we will be bringing the big numbers. The marketers, we've already brought them to Mwanza, who really, yeah. shout out to Mutale Mwanza, she helped us grow numbers because the first four episodes, our numbers weren't that good. But when she came on, more people got to know about this podcast mm-hmm. and numbers grew. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But anyway, we're still doing the review. So that's why we're doing that. And we'll talk about Patreon as well, where you can also, you know, pledge Wait, money. I, I, would, I would rather do it right now. All right, so, cool. Do it. Plug. So, big. I need you guys to get, hey, pay attention. I need you guys to get your hands ready. We need to give the biggest round of applause we can. Yeah. On Patreon, mm. we got the first pleasure from I'm Australia. Seeing my country. <laughs> People from back home are supporting us. <laughs> we have Joseph Peary. Yeah. He has canceled his Netflix subscription and every single month... Wow. He is giving us what he was paying Netflix and he made his first payment today. I saw a six dollars in our account. <laughs> Shout out to you, Joseph. I saw six dollars in our account. And on the last episode with Cleo, we mentioned we're opening a Patreon account where yep. you can, you know, make pledges yep. uh, to support the podcast. Mm-hmm. Uh let's just You go- got a call from America. I, now I'm heading to that. I got a call from America. This is from Zindaba Tembo. Listen to what she said. Um, she says, 
you guys are doing great. Loving the episodes. Also, you and Nelson in the last two episodes have alluded to some sort of contributions, but haven't explained what is needed and why it is needed. So, can you guys shed a little bit more light on that? So, Zinda Batembo is in Washington, if I'm not mistaken. Mm-hmm. So, she's been asking... The capital. You guys have been talking about contributions. Well, Zinda, but that's the issue. So, we're calling it Patreon and we're putting a link in the uh, description in the description on our YouTube channel right now. You can click on the link in the description. It'll take you to our Patreon account where you can drop a little something and we will tell you the benefits in addition to of you being, just... Yep, yeah, yep. there are different packages that you can contribute to. So she goes on to say, there are a lot of us people who say we like the show. Now it's time to put our money where, where our, our mouth is. Are. Yep. Yeah. Show us that you love the show. A small contribution will go a long way in supporting this show. There's so much we have to pay for. And uh, we love each one of you for your support so far. But Patreon is here now. And speaking yeah. of, we would like, of, of Patreon as well, we would like to uh, start our own merch. Yeah, t-shirts, t-shirts hoodies, hoodies yeah, caps, etc. Yeah, raise a bit of money. So, yeah, so that will also be available on on, on Patreon. Uh, partners who do anything related to clothing, get in touch. And speaking of... <laughs> the website issue. The website issue. I mentioned literally in Two seconds. six seconds. Yeah. And also in the last episode, the spoke about... The amount of phone calls and, you, and, you said and it And you said it, by the way, just like... Uh, we're looking for somebody who can do web designing. And the, the calls geez. have been coming like crazy, man. And shout out to Bupe. Yeah. Uh, He's the guy we settled with finally, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, bright young man. Yeah. He's still in college, but he's done amazing work. So yeah, um, we would like to move with that. So any partners that are, that know how to deal with um, t-shirts, hoodies, printing, clothing, etc. Izu. Hmm? 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 <laughs> Call us! <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, after Rashmi, we had the Jemison episode. Won't dwell much on that because too much happened. Then we had Mr. Nguzu. <laughs> <laughs> what is it with blogs? Yeah. And chopping up our our interviews to, to make to fit a narrative. Yeah. Because the, the with the blogs, Mr. Nguzu. They wanted to make him look bad. Yeah, because Mr. Yeah. Nguzu, they, they chopped up a little part of the interview where he was talking about... Um, what's the other chick that he's accused of having? Uh, Shupiwe. Shupiwe. Yeah. Just to, be, to fit their narrative. Yeah, they're trying to make it seem like that's actually his... Uh, and they chopped up our episode, edited it in a way, like you said, uh-huh. to fit the narrative where they try to make it seem like, yeah, he is actually right. dating this, this exactly. lady. Yeah. But yeah, that was, uh, that was a pretty interesting... Yeah. That was a pretty interesting episode. Actually was. And the, and the man loves his whiskey. Oh, he enjoyed his whiskey on that episode. <laughs> <laughs> the well, man loves Glenn, his yeah? whiskey. I did not drink anything on that episode. But anyway. Did you not? I did not. Really? Then after that, hey, we hey, had... Hey, wait, wait, wait. I did, did not. you not? No, I didn't. But here's one thing about you and drinking. Yeah. The episodes that people think you're drunk. I'm t- shocking, man. You're really actually shocking. not. Yeah. So like even this episode, I'm, I'm sure people are going to say, ah, it's probably drunk and whatever. It's making so much noise. I'm just in a happy mood today. Lamek, if you just zoom in on this, by the way. I am not yet, okay? I have not even tasted this. I'm about to. Now, what this is, this is a very iconic drink, man. Fresh on the market, and it tastes like magic. You need to try this icon. Tastes like magic, very international beer. And uh, it, it, it tastes like an award, it, it tastes like award-winning perfection. You need to try it out, eh? Didn't you just say you're about to taste it? I have tasted one. Can okay, make your mind up. Yeah. Are you about to taste Wait. it or you've tasted one? It tastes like award-winning perfection, man. Like, this stuff is oh, the yeah? truth. Yeah, it is the truth. It is the truth. I'll finish this after the episode, lest I get accused of being drunk on set I can only, and make it too much noise. I can only live vicariously through you, bro. Live vicariously through me. Get drunk on my behalf. That I will. All right. So after Maria, we had uh, the last one. Was what? Spoke of Maria. Oh, yeah, we did review Maria. Yeah, we did review Maria. Cleo Ice Queen. Cleo. Yeah. So, so I'm, I'm seeing your face lighting up with those one, man. I don't know why you think my face is lighting up. It did. It's, it's probably it's probably the light. The light. So, Cleo, <laughs> fun fact, she's very pretty. Yeah, she's very pretty. Uh huh. And I've been speaking to Cleo for months mm. prior to the episode, and yeah, she Cleo, kept postponing. Yeah, yeah. And Cleo says to me, "Wherever we shoot, it has to be air conditioned." Oh yeah. Yeah, that's how we ended up at like uh, real, the Hilton Hotel. Yeah, yeah. real diva vibes. I'm like, all right, and cool. we were shivering the whole time. Remember, you and I were in sweats. Exactly. But we were shivering the whole time. Exactly. Yeah. And so that's that that's the and only. She was, and she was so comfortable in the cold. 
Very. That room was as cold as a cold room and Cleo's. I mean, ice is in her name. Dude, I was about to say the same damn thing. <laughs> ice, ice, baby. Yeah, so that's probably why we were in a room. Yeah. And not for any other reason. Like, you perverse thought. And stop putting so much thought into me putting my hands in my pockets when we take pictures. <laughs> okay? I'm cold. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. Thank you very much. So that was uh, season two in a nutshell. And we look forward to giving you season three. We're starting it off with a uh, renowned medical practitioner. Let's not reveal anything here, but yeah. it's, be, it's a little episode. A very interesting doctor. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We, we spoke a lot about that man that I don't think he has spoken about on any, on any other platform, right? Has he been on any show like this? No. Not you much. Know the eh? craziest thing yeah. is when we shot his episode, yeah. neither, of our, neither of us had seen the guy. Oh, and he walked in, we didn't so, know who he was. So the guy <laughs> walked in, we all saw the guy, didn't know who, know who he, he was. was. <laughs> and Kalinga even says, do you know what this guy <laughs> looks like? <laughs> and right in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, oh man, uh, it's been another this exciting been episode of That's um, It podcast. And yeah. uh, remember to taste icon. Thank you for the support. Yeah, uh, we really appreciate this. We don't take any subscriber for like, granted. Yeah, uh, we really appreciate every single one of you people and continue to subscribe because that's the only other way. And hit the notifications button. That's the only other way when we upload an episode that you're going to know about it. Yeah, and YouTube has this funny algorithm that would be important for us to also track the number of people that are part of our family That's which you up. guys are uh, a family uh season three look out for more interesting uh guests look out for giveaways look out for merch that we'll be selling and please do support us by clicking on that patreon link in the description and making a contribution to this show. Actually, we should put that link in all our socials, right? So it's yeah, easier we will. to find. I think we will be putting it on all our socials, yeah. Yeah. So this episode, of course, brought to you by Cheta FM, the biggest radio station in Mochinga province, and Send It To, mm-hmm. which you'll be explaining more about in the episodes going forward, right? I have no idea why people thought I owned Ting. <laughs> have you yeah. seen that? People thought I owned Ting. Oh, because we spoke about it a lot, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Send It To. Send It To. We will speak more about it. Um, for those in the diaspora in Australia, uh, in the UK, Como es? Uh, if you would like to send money to Patreon. your to your peoples, Patreon. do it via Send It To as well. That's what we yeah, do. Oh yeah, yeah. Yes, so if you'd like to send groceries yeah. to your people here in Zambia, if you would like to send talk time to people in Zambia from Australia, from UK, Australia, India, the UK, no, no, China. no, 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 it's not, yeah. it's not all those countries. Oh, the, yeah, crap. Australia, UK, US, and Canada. So far, mm. we keep adding because we keep working. Those are very white Commonwealth countries. Because those are the people with the money. Ah, I get it. The Huna? I get it. Y- you get it? I get it. All right. As All I was right. saying, forget about it. Forget about it. <laughs> All right. That's been That's a Podcast K Plus and also and only today. But it's been a little episode regardless. Yeah, and uh, next week, Dr. Aaron Mujajati. I, I just had to I th- reveal. I thought you had, you were ke- you were keeping it. Okay, keep sorry. Edit, edit that. Edit no, that. don't. Just keep it. Yeah, keep it, huh? All right. Jesus. Just, you don't know how to tease, do you? I can't keep a secret, bro. You don't know how to tease. I'm that kind it's of guy. foreplay. <laughs> do you know how to do it? <laughs> Do you know how to do it? <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Aaron Mujajati in the next episode. Do look out for that one. It's lit. That's all I can say. To the next episode, have a lovely day. May the good Lord richly bless you. We don't mean to brag. But we have to. We are, without a doubt, the best radio station in Wichinga province. We give you the best radio programming, the best radio DJs, the best news, and the best music. A station that has you in mind. Call us on 0764-899-899. Chete, 89.9 FM, radio for the people.